Well, hey, good morning, you guys. Welcome to this edition of Mike Reed Outdoors. God bless you. Thanks for watching. Okay, guys, this thing's been in here since last night. I'm going to open it up and see if it absorbed the egg solution that I had in there. Didn't get really cold last night. I kept the fire and my heating stove going pretty much all night long. Okay, let me pull this out. Hey, I'll tell you what. I've got most uh, there's, There might be just a little bit of the egg solution left in there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take it out and I'm going to I'm going to wring the skin then we'll talk about the softening process. Oh, this way. Looks really good. Then I'm going to try to catch some of that if I can. Okay, you guys, now the skin, see how the skin is all crinkled up where you've uh, wrung it out? You've had to pull that skin back apart. Stretch it apart. pretty good. Now you guys is the time that you've that you've already got to make up if you probably already made up your mind whether or not you're going to rack the skin and and do it or soften it that way or you're going to hand uh, soften it like I'm going to do. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to lay it up. I'm going to hang it right here for a couple of hours and let some of the water start to evaporate out of it and then begin the stretching in every direction process. The edges will go first. You'll notice that if you don't get the edges stretched out while they're drying out, they will turn really uh, dark and hard on the edge. So you got to do that. You got to make sure you're doing that first. Now, guys, if you're going to rack your skin, which is build a rack, and you don't know how to do that, go to my uh, playlist on tanning and see where I have racked the skin, and you'll see me racking the skin and softening the skin with a stick. But I'm not going to do that to this hide right here, because once you rack the skin, you have to stay with that thing all day long until it is softened. You can't just walk away and leave it. Now, with this skin right here, if I get tired, I can stop the process at any time I want to. All I got to do is stick it in a plastic bag and seal it up, and the moisture that's in the hide will stay in the hide. And I can stop and go to town or whatever other chores I need to do. If I do, if I do that, and then I can come back and take it back out of the bag and start all over again. Well, hey, you guys. I'm still waiting on that deer skin to get to where it needs to be broken. It's getting really close. That's why you got to hang out with it and do other things while that's, and keep on watching it while it's happening. I'm getting ready to tan this coon skin as well. This is the one that I got yesterday. This is that fresh coon that you probably saw a picture of on that other video. Uh, I put it through the pickle there for 12 hours. I've got it out. I've re-scraped it. I'm letting the fur dry on this thing right now, guys. I got it turned in this direction. Then when I get ready to tan it, I'll turn it around and put the tanning solution on with the thing turned with the fur in. That way I can roll it up and let the tanning solution 
do its thing on the fur, but that looks like a pretty nice coon. Done started. I'll take this stick I got right here and I'll start pulling on the parts of the skin that are getting that are going to get dry. See that right there? I hope you can see that you guys. Now I've got that, I put it up there in that vise, but you can also just sit right here on your lap and do the same thing. You'll see that skin is turning white. That's what you're looking for. That means you're, you're going to, the thing is going to get pretty soft for you. See that piece of pumice? It's like taking a piece of sandpaper. And that will let you finish the back of this skin right here, you guys. What I'm saying is you see you see the stuff that's flaking off of your skin? It's membrane. Just take that piece of pumice, or a piece of sandstone that's rough like that right there, and that, that takes it right off of the, that takes that stuff right off of your skin. I believe that skin is going to turn out really good too.